everybody, we're playing Elden Ring. Got a big episode today, we're going to cover the uh, Fort Hate, clearing of that, and uh, Kenneth Hate. We're also going to cover the Rune Bears and uh, Earthbore Cave, so there's a lot to get through in this episode. Start by clearing the uh, Fort Hate. Now that we've upgraded our weapon. I'm using the Bloodhound's Fang and I've increased it to plus three in the previous episode. Now we're ready to do all this stuff. You'll notice I'm not wearing any boots because I'm keeping my load at a medium load. It allows me to roll quicker. I'm just going to wait for Pumpkin Head to move out of the way. Off you go, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. Let's start with clearing these guys. This guy on the stair. Easier with the upgraded weapon. Rickety shield. Not so great, but you know. <laughs> Boots always good. I'll stop behind this barricade and I'll clear these rats. Come on. Here comes his mate. Another one coming down the stairs. We've got the undead dudes up there who are throwing firebombs. Or you can fight into this room and there's some collectibles there. Okay, the Godric Knight's right here. This guy is tough. Touch you with bleeding damage, blood loss. Bloody slash Ash of War. That's quite nice. I'll just heal through that damage. So now that I've completed the uh, Fort Hate, I want to go back to the Third Church of America. We're going to go back and talk to Kenneth Hate. This is part of his uh, quest line.
We travel northwest up that pathway and uh, on top of this ruin. to recapture my fort. Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. All right. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Okay, let's pledge this. Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Earth Tree blessed. All right, so I'm going to travel back to Fort Hate West. Go back and meet Kenneth. I just want to check this out over here. Wax wrath now their mother's been taken. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The night bedeviled by blood. Okay, so the demi human's mother's been taken, that's interesting. Was it Kenneth that took him? We don't know at this point. This should be all cleared out now. No more enemies. Aha, uh -huh, we do have demi humans now. Though. This is not looking so rosy as Kenneth said. <laughs> I think there's something he's not telling us. You must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul, fateful land. 
To be without a ruler, one must be found with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. All right. That's all for now, Kenneth. So I'm going to travel to the quarter coast. Yep, can't level up just yet. Back to Mirkwater Catacombs. I'm going to take on the Grave Warden Duelist. little devils okay there's some more imps in here get them with the fireball the fireball trap Head cat. Interesting. Looks like a helmet. Yep, another one behind. Let's go. The lone wolves out. A bit of distraction. The return to entrance. Let's go back to the entrance. The 
Okay, next thing I want to do is travel down to Gil Lake South. Kill these slimes. Like Seth. Okay, so up on the east cliff over here is an undead character who turns into a rune bear. I'm going to try and take on the rune bear. And if I can kill this one, uh, there's another rune bear I want to have a go at, which is over at Earthbore Cave. So this is kind of a test run for me, Let's see if I can do it. Hoping with my new plus three blade I can do it. Here he is. Into the room bed. <laughs> See, I've got my target lock on. Oof. It gets pretty hard. Heal, heal. There we go. Ah, I've got him down to about half. <laughs> I'll try again. Do it without the spirit ashes. He hits really hard. <laughs> Trying to roll out of the way of those attacks. He's down to a third. Take me about three tries. All right, cool. Hello, <laughs> come to watch the show. Another warrior is on me. Okay, now let's travel down to the Bridge of Sacrifice. We're going to head over to Earthbore Cave. Start here. From here we can travel west along the coastline. Need the 
horse for this jump. Double jump. Long fall, double jump. There we go. Okay, it's down here. Pick up this side of Grace here. Now I've been in here before, but uh, the first time you come in here, there's a false floor that you can fall through. Right here where this hole is. See, there's some rats down there. The first time I came in this cave, I just basically fell through the floor. <laughs> the torch on. So, there's a rune bear boss in this uh, dungeon. Down towards the end of it. If you're having trouble seeing the rats in the dark, you can use your targeting. Makes it a bit easier. I'm just swapping between my torch at the moment. See there's a big giant rat back there. all of them. Yep. Some more rats. Okay, so down in this pit, we'll find the rune bear. Here he is. Yep, tried to roll. <laughs> Can I get in behind him?
kill. Still the half. Got him down to a third. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop out the spirit ashes this time. The lone wolves. Still hitting really hard. Just hoping a bit of a distraction would give me an advantage. <laughs> so close, I had him down to like 1%. I'm gonna try that again. Your ashes. Bill Drake Talisman. Green is Lily. So the Spell Drake Talisman will reduce magic damage by 13 to 20 percent. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.